Hello, my friends. Dapper Jerby here. Welcome back. Uh, we are going to be entering a standard tournament with our most recent deck, Dawnwings Necrozma Prismatic Flash. As I eventually found out, I wanted to name it because Prismatic Flash makes sense because it's Prismatic Burst, I think, with Necrozma and uh, I don't know the other deck. The other one is uh, so. We'll just go ahead and look at it real fast. Into the tournament, we'll do the same thing we did last time. Start entering the tournament and quickly look over the deck. We have cards. Um, so, a few changes I made. I threw in a pal pad, I threw in a rescue stretcher. Um, I took out one energy, I took out a floatstone to throw another choice band in. I threw a Kangaskong in and took out the Giratina Prism Star and the Ninja Boy. Um, just, it was. This reason why I do King is coming in here. Crossing cut, cross cut, 30 damage plus 30 more if it's evolution Pokemon. So it's gonna give us a different option other than throwing three psychic energies on a Marsh Shadow. If you have King is Kong in the, excuse me, if we have King is Kong in the uh, discard pile, Marsh Shadow can use cross cut. King's Kong will probably not hit the field if we have it our way. We'll probably try to throw it away with an Ultra Ball. Um, yeah, I had to take out an Energy. I had to take out... So I added Kangas Kong, Pal Pad, Rescue Stretcher. I took out Energy, Giratina Prism Star, and Ninja Boy. So that that's really how it worked. And then I switched a few things around as well here. Um, and Oh, I didn't know it gives you that option. It usually doesn't. So I have 10 energies now instead of 11, which kind of sucks. I wish I had actually two more energies. But I, I thought about removing a Sycamore, but that left me with nine draw supporters, and I just was not comfortable with that. So it seems like this is kind of how it ended up being. Um, so we're going to see how that works out. You know, it's a few little changes, but we'll see if it is... Uh, exponential, drastic, and then, you know, the rescue stretcher, so we can get back that more shadow if we have to throw it away. Stuff like that. So we're, I mean, Super Rod would have worked as well, but, you know, I think it'll work a little better, but we will see if I have that continue as bad plays. There is four people in the tournament now. Um, I went ahead and copied this to the clipboard, so that you guys will be able to see it down in the description below. Um, but this is, you know, that primarily that Dawn Wings Necrozma deck. Now that I'm going to start calling it DWN, which has like a double meaning. It means Dawn as well as Dawn Wings Necrozma, which is kind of cool. So it's going to be how I label that from now on. But, you know, general, same thing. Uh, Dark Flash, Prismatic uh, Burst, it is the name of it, is our main attacks in the deck. Uh, we can also block Ray GX. Lunala is a great cleanup attacker. Mew can copy Lunala. Mew can copy Kangaskong. Mew can copy Dawnwings Necrozma or Dawnwings Necrozma GX or Necrozma GX. So it's like Mew is a good versatility mon in this, and Wobbuffet can block those abilities since we are not playing a Garbodor. Uh, Tapu Lele can get us our first turn draw support of choice, which is Lily usually, or it can get us a Guzma, which we play four of. At any point during the game so we're hoping that this does not last too long we have had a really long matches when we officially initially i mean uh tested this deck so hoping that a little bit shorter this but this deck space is super tight um like i said i copied this kind of off of or i based it basically off of the popular buzzhole garbador deck list uh which had you know a 2-2 Garbodor, 2-2 Carbine, Carbine Break, and then three Buzz Holes is the primary of that. So I was able to, you know, replace Buzz Holes with Dawn Wings. I had a random Zygarde I replaced with, you know, Necrozma. I originally had Nihilego, but Necrozma seems like it works a little better. They have the same weakness, which kind of sucks. They both have that psychic weakness, which means they can be take that, taken out by the Mew EX, but... I still think, you know, Necrozma has some great numbers that it hits, so that's the plus side of that. Um, but I think we have the right cards in here now. But we'll see how it works out once we get into the actual matches and see who we're facing up against. It looks like we're up to seven. 
let's go ahead and take a look at that event list. We just have player joined, player joined, player joined. Well, let's look at the rewards real fast. We get six standard booster packs if we win this thing. Uh, we're placing <laughs> metal, metal psychic. I, I mean, I'm already thinking ultra necrozma. It's not that, but I'm already thinking that. Um, so it's going to be a Metagross deck or a uh, Dusk main deck. It's my best guess. I don't know. Good to see a Nest Ball first turn and some uh, Max Elixir and that. I wish I had an Energy, but other than that, I guess I like this first hand. It is going to be that, uh, that Beldum. Since we are going first, we might as well just get set up. Um, I think what we want to do is pull out a Wobbuffet. Hard to say, hard to say, because I mean, they're still going to be able to use Tapu Lele. But we'll see right here, yeah. Let's just go with our general. Let's put out Wobbuffet. Um. Max Elixir, another energy, and I hate to throw away two Ultra Balls, but can't use one on its own. Alright, so we do get another Ultra Ball, Rescue Stretcher, Float Stone, I think I'm fine with that. I guess I should have waited, but I would have ended up throwing away a Cynthia to play Sycamore. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to say. Difficult to say what I should have and could have done. But I like that. I don't think I want anything else out. Yeah, there's not much else I can do, so we're just gonna pass for now. I'm gonna second turn Dawn Wings up and see if our opponent can deal with that pressure. The only thing that sucks about Wobble Fight is it does not block Tapu Lele GX, which almost begs the question is Garbodor, or well, of course Garbodor is better, but it's reason why we're playing Wobbuffet is because we still utilize our abilities. So it's like I'm debating like, you know, Wobbuffet, Garbodor, Glaceon, like, what's the best one to play in this deck? I mean, Glaceon's just a completely different type, so it doesn't work almost at all. Uh, Garbodor will block your own abilities. So, I mean, we utilize our abilities quite often, like the Invasion for Free Retreat Everywhere. It's kind of a big ability we use. Um, we utilize uh, Memories of a Dawn from the little baby Mew, and we use, um, I don't remember what Marshadow's ability is called, but we use that one as well to be able to utilize stuff from the, from the discard pile. But let's see, they got there. This is a Sogaleo Metagross. Fun. So with that, I am going to Ultra Ball away that Lily. I think we'll keep the Guzma. Hmm, Guzma Floatstone, Guzma Floatstone. Which one do I want to get rid of? We'll get rid of Guzma. We have the Palpad, so we can get that back. And what do we want here, really? We're going to Cynthia. Because we can. Um... I think I want to pull out this guy, the baby Dawn Wings. Oh, I know what I want. I want the Lunala Prism Star. It's in the prizes cards. So we're going to pull out the baby, baby Dawn Wings, and we're going to Cynthia. We get cards. Um, we're going to go ahead and Invasion. I'll throw this there. And we will Dark Flash. Take that first prize. Try to get ahead here before Metagross starts popping up. So what they're trying for is that first that first turn Sogaleo. Which means that we can take it out next turn with these Guzmas. So I think we're going to be trying to take out what they're setting up with the Guzmas for the next two turns. And possibly three turns. With the... Uh, Tapu Lele there. Okay, so they got a Matang. And a Fuel Blower or Float. Not super worried about that, because it's my attacker. 
Mount Coronet, they got the extra two energies. Okay, okay, so that does not hurt us too bad. We're going to take out that Matang this next turn. Because that is the closest one to evolving into a Metagross. There's another Psychic Energy. Go ahead and put that onto... This guy. We will Guzma up the... Metagross. Go in with Dawnwings and talk it out. Batang. So we're just going to be playing a kind of a keep away game here. Trying to keep our opponent away from from setting up if we were down in prizes we could totally moon eclipse here but we're not down in prizes you need to drive for 100 hmm what to do what to do what to do I feel like I should take out Cosmog here. Which I can almost do with Gullstream. Hmm. If I had 10 more damage, I almost want to Cynthia, but I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna save this guy for a second. Um, let's try to take out the Cosmog. This doesn't exactly do it, but it'll hit it for 40, and then I'll have to try to figure out how to get out. Don't know if that's the best choice. Not sure at all, but. Because with Guzmas, you really want to be taking knockouts. That's the point of Guzmas. But we'll see if that was a good or a bad choice. Um, it'd be really nice to be able to take out one of those Lele's. They're going to Guzma now. What are they going to Guzma? Try to take it out. Okay. So that hinders us, but I don't think we're out of it just yet. That just ties up the prizes. Yeah, that's what I needed last turn. Thanks, Mom. Um, we'll throw this down. Could Guzma this turn. doesn't exactly help us. I think I want to save Cynthia for... I mean, I want to save Lele for a Guzma later on. Here we go, this might be worth it. Yeah, I guess we're going to go into Wobbuffet here. So this is kind of where we struggle a little bit. Sometimes our deck just does not hit the nines, does not hit everything we need it to hit, so we're a little behind here. <clears throat> does not bother me. Just wish I had that Guzma back. Which if we pal pad, we're probably going to be doing both Guzmas. And thank you for that end. That really helps.
I got the Cosmo, I'm okay, so they're good and set up here. I have not seen them have any rare candies yet though. So they weren't able to do that much to the Wobbuffet. Thank you. Glad we hit that. Get that other energy down. And the question is whether or not to Guzma. Because he has like three different targets I'd like to hit right now. Well, this is the thing. I know his main person in this deck is going to be Metagross. So let's go ahead and Tapu Lele. See if we can find... The Guzma. We have the Pal Pad in here, right? Is it Prize? The Pal Pad is Prize. This is our last Guzma knockout, guys. Um. See, I want a Guzma, but I want to actually get some damage on this Tapu Lele as well. Tapu Lele we can always hit if we're ever down in prizes, but we're not going to be down in prizes if we keep taking prizes. Okay, uh, let's just invasion. Dark Flash the Tapu Lele. It's going to do 100 damage back to us, however, we can just knock it out then, or we can, uh, if it retreats, we can Guzma it up to knock it out again. We still have, you know, Wobbuffet that can use Psychic Assault if we go down. As well as uh, Dawnwings here. So there's 130 there to us. It's not terribly minding. I hate that there's two energies on the Matang, though. If I throw another energy here... Maybe the best bet on this one is to throw an energy on Wobbuffet and let them have it. Kind of like that. Let them take the Wobbuffet at least. There's our Palpat, there's our Lunala. I like both of those cards a lot. We have any energies down here though? We have three energies down here, so what I want is, you know, to find a psychic energy and then be able to Lunala Prism Star to close out this game. And I think we, what we want to do is take out that Metagross as well. I feel better about pal padding up those two Guzmas. And they're gonna go ahead and use that. Yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be close, but I think we can take it with the right cards here. Really? Okay, we're definitely ending this next turn then. That was bad plays in my mind, but only because I have an N. This is where I kind of wish I had Ninja Boy. I would totally Ninja Boy into a Necrozma GX here. Attach an energy and just Prismatic Burst. So they kind of force their hand. We're going to be pal, pal padding here. Throwing those two Guzmas back in. Dropping down that Prisma Star. And inning. Because we do not want them to have any of those cards. 
Yes, I understand I will have fewer cards in my hand, but he will have fewer cards in his hand. Which is preferable. Of course it was well played. That's exactly what I wanted to play. So now the question is to lose Wobbuffet or lose Dawn Wings. I think we're just going to go ahead and lose our Dawn Wings here. And go ahead and Dark Flash. Get half that damage done. And this is where it's going to be a little difficult to take out the rest of this uh, Metagross. Because it has 130 HP left, but has resistance against our Psychic types. So he has double Metagross now, so now they have any Metal Energy down there. Mount Coronet almost hurt and hinders them. They have no Metal Energy down there, so they have to sit there. Oh man, oh man, is there a way? Do I have this at all? No, I'm up in prizes. I think this is the way I have it. So it does 120 plus 30 minus 20. Yes! Yes. So it did 130 130 plus the 30 minus the 20, and was just barely enough to top deck. And that was a long match, so I assume that this next one's gonna start up right away. So there you guys go, Wobbuffet MVP. The MVP Wobbuffet, so we did a lot more damage than them, and took a lot more prizes than them. Fun, fun. You're dressing a Metagross deck, I'm surprised, yeah, this one was really slow, because it has so many things in it. 22 Pokemon is kind of huge, especially with, like, 10 energy, and it's a little rough. I don't would suggest playing this, but, you know, you're playing everything you have, I guess, that's why you're playing it. Um, I mean, Metagross with Duskmane might work, but I don't think you, you want... I don't think you want Solo Leo in here as well. So there we go, we got our first matchup done. They had resistance, but we were able to pull it off. And Thunderboy and the Messiah are what's still playing. We're also uh, Death Grim God got through, and Insane Vizard got through. Repeating therapy for pain and beating. Cassiano AB4. Wow, interesting names. Interesting names in this one. Um, worst case scenario, they have seven minutes left to play in that last part of the bracket. But I have an idea. I think I'm going to take a, a, a screenshot. There we go. I got a screenshot of it, just so I could, uh, put it as the background for the, uh, the thumbnail. So we got a few more minutes to see this. What I was looking at before, the prizes for this is six random booster packs and 400 coins for the winner. Second place will take four random booster packs and 200 coins. And then what we just got into was that third or fourth place, getting two booster packs and 100 coins. A little bit better than the uncommon chest. <laughs> Who's gonna win? So, what we, what we can look at is, like, what what did we do well in that last match? What we, did we do bad? Um, I think it ran pretty well. Hard to say. It was a little... We had some difficulty being with it being meta, but knowing that it was Metagross and Sogaleo, we knew what we needed to take out at the right time. We knew we needed to kind of prevent that, but our, that Lele started doing work on us, so we... 
we had to figure out a way to take it out, and I think that, you know, it gave them enough time to set up that Metagross, but it allowed us to take take out the Lele and then take out the Metagross right afterwards, which was pretty good. That's kind of what I like about, you know, Dawn Wings with Wobbuffet, though, is that one-two punch. You know, you Dark Flash, and then you can automatically go over to Wobbuffet and go ahead and Psychic Assault, which does 10 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon, so they'll do that 120 plus 10 plus whatever damage boosters you have on it, like I had the Choice Band or a Fighting Fury Belt will do, you know, 10 more damage, which makes it a good one-two punch. You know, you Dawn Wings, and then they hit you back, you retreat into Wobbuffet, and then hit them again, and it knocks them out, and they don't take any prizes. And then they have to figure out a way to either try to get to your Dawn Wings out so they can attack it again, or you can do what I did, which was, you know, set up another Dawn Wings to go again. I think I'm going to start this one with... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna start this one with Kangaskhan, and you'll you'll see why in a second. I think the way I'm going to play it is I'm gonna play Kangaskhan first. Obviously, if I get a Psychic Energy, I can just attack with Cross and Cut, with Cross Cut. Sorry, and then uh, as I set up my Dawn Wings and I can get fill up my bench, I can eventually Parallel City and knock out my side of things. But what are they playing? They're playing Buzzhole, so we should have weakness here. So that's my idea, is like, we can use Kangaskhan for a little bit here, but it's either going to be knocked out by a Buzzhole, or we can Parallel City it off the field, so like, that's the idea. We may not need more Shadow in this, because it looks like one, they have the counter for it, and two, we're facing <laughs> who has weakness against us. Do we have any fighting types left? We do not. But we can kind of look at our board state here. We have missing our Prism Star again. I hate that so much. We're missing a Wobbuffet as well. We have all of our Max Elixirs. Missing a Choice Band. And we have all of our Energies. Um, so I don't think I've mentioned everything we're missing. We're missing some Draw Supporters here and there, I'm sure. Um, like... Actually, it looks like we have all of our Draw Supporters. We're missing... Accusement? I have no... I don't know. Don't know what we're missing, I guess. Oh, I guess we'll throw out the second Dawn Wings. Um, question is, do I go ahead and Ultra Ball here? I think I do. I think I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball here. Do not need the Marsh Shadow, and I don't think I'm going to need the Rescue Stretcher, because like, those two are primarily in tandem. Uh, what do I grab here, though? With something that can take a buzzhole hit? I think I want this on the bench. Yeah, I want that on the bench. Um, and in that case, since we're facing a buzzhole, I'm just gonna go ahead and put their bench down to three. I don't want you playing any more cards, dude. Sorry. But we're gonna go ahead and Cynthia. And see what else we can get. We can get a energy... Which means we can attack with our Kangaskhan. We can throw a flip stone on the Necrozma. So they have, you know, one. They have one, uh... Actually, they'll have to choose if they feel blower what they want to take out. So a Wobbuffet, and we'll leave that last space for a Lele, maybe. I don't think there's anything I really want to Nest Ball for just yet. For now, we're just going to do some simple 30 damage to this Mewtwo. Which could bite us, but I'm okay with it, because, you know, if they knock out our Kangaskhan, I'm not too worried about it. I just kind of wish that I had, like, those, those Max Elixir plays here, and uh, I should be able to get them next turn with that Cynthia. I'm gonna get another six cards. We have our main attacker out, so they should be running scared. They don't have a, a Zorark to counter us. But, you know, if they just, you know, get after it, work quickly, they might be able to take it. Ooh, we have the Necrozma. Do we want that now or later? I think later. So we're just going to Cynthia this turn. The only thing I could see me getting out is, like, a Mew. Yep, there's an Energy. That's one we want. 
we want a uh, another energy there. Like I said, we could get out a Mew, but we don't really need it. I mean, I guess it would have been nice to, you know, retreat and then cross-cut for 60 instead with Mew, but I'm not overly worried about it just yet. So I think I'm just going to kind of sit behind Kangaskhan, wait for them to retreat, and bring out this Buzzhole so I can just come in with Buzzhole and take a knockout. Because what they're going to be trying to do, I think, is... It's either looking for the Guzma, so they can try to take out the Necrozma first. Or... I mean, something to that effect. They're going to have to use, like, their GX attack, though. Yep, there it is. Okay, so yeah, they got exactly what they wanted. They got that Energy Guzma. I'm gonna take out Necrozma first before I can get them back. And I think we're just gonna go in with Wobbuffet here. Uh, we are down on prizes now. That's something to note. So that we can throw down a Mew here. Is there any other attacks besides Barbarical we can use? Uh, no, there's not. But what we're going to try to do here is get the Max Elixir and hit it. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Ah! It's going to need it. I needed to hit the Max Elixir. By hitting the Max Elixir, I could have taken out this Buzz Hole easy mode, but without it, I cannot. Uh, so we have to pass. So we have to pass. Oh, so he did use his GX attack, so he could use Knuckle Impact this turn. So he's going for that double. Luckily, luckily, Wobbuffet just saved us. He is not realizing that that Lycanroc does not have an ability with uh, Wobbuffet on the field with that Bide Barrago. So yeah, see so that's what they're trying for right here. Um, we're just gonna go in with Mew. We are very, very far down back here. But I think we have a way to catch up right here. I believe Mew can use... Yes, he can. He can use any of those attacks to take out this... Uh, this Buzzhole. Question is, we need to protect ourselves from Rock Ruff. So I think we're going to figure out how to do that here. Um, I want to keep the Guzma. Parallel City is useful. I could end here. Yeah, I think I need to try to get something else going here. I cannot put all the eggs into the Mew, ma into the Mew basket. So I need to get something else going right now. And so, let's go ahead and throw that there. Throw the Choice Band on Mew because we can. And it actually looks like I wish I was like knocking out this thing with something other than Mew. So I could come in and take out the Rock Ruff next turn. But, uh... Ah, oh, what's the question? We stress that they're not going to get a second... ...thing there. Uh, we'll just... We'll see what happens here. I think... We're just going to Dark Flash here. To take out this Buzzle. Um... Hoping that next turn the liking rock does not get what it needs and we can take that out next turn but i mean yeah all they need is a mu with a double colorless energy so they get the brooklet okay we have reggie rock okay if they got a Buzz hole with that and a strong energy they can take out the Mew. 
hit the Lysander. Are they going to take Mew out of the active? Yes, no. They're not. Okay, so they just decided they wanted their Lycanroc. They threw away the strong. Do they not have another buzz? You can't dangerous rogue here. You attach energy. Oh man. Did they seriously just do that? Oh man. <laughs> We're gonna ultra ball away a sycamore and a Cynthia. We have the Guzma. We have the Lele. And Mew is just rocking it. Mew is just rocking it, guys. We want to get rid of that. Go ahead and retreat back into Mew. Attach another energy here. Throw this down with a Fighting Fury Belt. And go ahead and Moon Eclipse for 180 damage. Plus the Choice Band. And because of that, you guys want to read this. I don't know if we can get it big enough can even read it. It's in red. You can use this attack only if you're down in prizes. I uh, prevent all effects of attacks including damage on this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Just so you know, you with 50 HP right now is protected for a turn. Unless they Guzma around it. And I mean, that's the ultimate question. Unless they Guzma around it, can they take out this overpowered Mew. <laughs> this tiny Mew, can they take it out? What is their choice right here? If they put in Buzzhaw, they basically... ...conceded without conceding. But Buzzhaw seems to be their only option right here. I think they're trying to, like... Get enough energies on Buzzhole to take out Mew. But they couldn't. They couldn't do it. So I don't need these two cards. Is there anything I can Ultra Ball for? No, I don't have any spaces. So if I had a space here, I could totally Lele Guzma take out the Buzzhole. But since I don't, I gotta try something different. Like that. We're gonna go ahead and... Throw another energy onto Dawn Wings. We'll put this up here. We'll parallel city them. Just getting all the cards we need right now. One more. And the Reggie Rock. Oh man. So this is still going to be a, a big prize game here. It's not going to come out the way we want it to. But wow, Mew can still attack, right? Energy Drive, Golf Stream, Full Moon. Ooh, how many energies do I have in here? Two. But Mew has already done so much. Can Energy Drive... Oh, it can't Wobbuffet's well, turn. So it has 60... I don't want to give them the satisfaction of that. They need to get a Guzma to take that out, I think. But, you know. They have 70 HP. Do I have something to take out for 70 HP? I think I'm just going to full moon star here. Like, I want them to take out this Mew, so that's the thing. They're not realizing. I want them to bring up that, uh, Buzzhole. 
put me down in prizes so my counter energy here can have an effect. Energy switch, that is a pretty energy switch. Really, they're, they're going in with Mewtwo. That's fine with me. So even if the prize is, my counter energy does not have an effect. They're gonna concede, cause... Cause they know. Plus, worst case scenario, I just... I had the Guzma. I had the Guzma in hand. There we go. We got at least second place. We got a ticket back from how much we spent. And that's why you play Psychic, is to take out Buzzles. Dragon... Dragon Metals. Like, again, it looks like Ultra Necrozma. <sighs> In a few weeks, that will be the case, but Dragon Metal Psychic. What could that be? I mean, Metal is clearly either a Dusk Main or something to that effect. Let's go ahead and put Wobbuffet up here this time. Um, I think I'm gonna put in Lunala. I'm not sure about Necrozma just yet. I guess so. I can throw energy on it and it'll do some massive damage. So I don't think we're going first. I think we're going second. Magmite. We're actually going first. Okay. Um, the question is... We could throw an energy away. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Dawn Wings, or Lele, actually. I want to get some different cards. Let's grab our uh, Lele. And uh, do we have our Lily? We have our Lily, so we will get eight cards. Um, we might as well throw a float here. Limit their bench. Lele for Lily. Lily and see what we get. Good, good, good. Um, go ahead and max elixir. Uh, we'll throw this here too. And we'll nest ball for the, the star of the show. Dawn wings. And I think we're gonna stop it there. We'll hold on to it. They got it up. They got up the. That's all you wanted to do. Is that all you wanted to do? That's a surprise. Cynthia. So our main goal here is to take out this, which means we have to do 210 damage. Hey, look at that. 210 damage. And I guess what we want to do here is... I feel like I want this here. I want different cards. so we can play different cards. Actually, I feel like it's most important to throw that over there. And go ahead and Prismatic Burst, which does 180 damage plus 30, which is 210, minus 20 is 190. Worth it. So now we just gotta play another preventive game. We wanna make sure that this Magmite goes down here. It's a Magneton now. It's got enough, 130. And then a Cynthia going in with Magnezone. Can't use Zap Cannon next turn. 
Wow, it almost got it. Does it, it did not play a Kakui. Wow. Not bad, not bad at all. 20, 40, 60, 80. I don't think I can get that, unfortunately. I must wish I had a Mew I could just like retreat into here. Um I don't think there's anything I have that I can, like, do here. I guess it's just go after it. That's really all I got. Go after it with Lunala, I guess? Um... This could hurt us later in the game. So, you mean we can go in with Cynthia here, but that's... We can go in with Lunala here, but it doesn't really do us much good. That really seems like the best option is to just stall for a turn. That's a surprise. Again, we just want to go in with this. We want to hit another max elixir. So they just bricked, super bricked here. So this is enough. It is. There we go. So that tournament, that tournament showed off the entire deck. Did not face a Zorak among them. Faced two metal resistant decks though. One weakness and we took the cake at one, one prize ticket there. So there we go. We got the tournament done. Feel sorry that my opponent bricked so hard. Looks like they okay. Looks like you know they have our our next dex list, guys. They have the Dusk Main with the Algi, Daga, Diaga, and the Sogaleo Prism. Sorry. So tune in next week for this deck list here. Maybe not exactly. I think I'm gonna try it slightly different, but this is a good starting point. So next week is Dusk Main, by the way. Just so you guys know. And we got we beat the insane wizard. We got two breakthrough, one guardians rising, and one evolutions. I thought we get okay one. All right, I don't think I'm gonna open up all of them, but I'll open up the sun and moon ones. How about that? Because I think I'm still collecting our breakthrough. I don't know why though. There's no reason to. Um, maybe I'll write this down real fast so that we can open those up. We got. Breakthrough. Uh, Guardians Rising. Evolutions. Burning Shadows. Sun and Moon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and open up those. But I did want to open up this in the uh, de deck manager so that we could go ahead and build it a little bit at least. Yeah, I think I'm going to save it for now. I will look at that later. Just 
just label it opponent's dusk main until we figure out a name for it. Yeah, I know it's invalid as long as I don't have those cards. But, you know, 50 minutes in, we are going to quickly jump over here to collections and get those packs opened. So, that was a very nice, very nice uh, tournament. We actually won it. That's super, super nice. Don't expect much from this. We got the double pass on Twine Up and a Houndoom. That put it over the mark of Steam Siege nice. Another swine up, two reverse swine ups in a row with a Halucha. So those are two breakthrough. We had a uh, Burning Shadow, so we'll open up one of those. Ooh, a reverse rare is. Dusk Noir with a Dark Invitation, and our rare is Bye Bye Butterfree. Uh, heal all damage from all your Pokemon, shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it into your deck. You could do a continuous heal, uh, Rage Quit your opponent with that, because there's a couple of uh, Caterpie Metapods that evolve right away. And then Sun and Moon base, we have one. Which that one I might not have wanted to open, but that's fine. And then Evolutions, Guardians Rising, and the last two. Woo, rare candy. Tokodomaru! And an Incineroar. Guardians Rising. Wins a cut, the wages are fluff, the wages are fluff! Defense girl. Okay, Sandy Shrew. So, Wello, I think I opened up that one last time. Evolutions. I need to get less Swellows and more Tapu Leles and Guardian Rising, clearly. Rattata, double colors energy, and our rare is an electrode. Let's go, go, kaboom. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Dravi. I hope you guys a Lola, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.